सो गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल द अपकमिंग डॉक्टर्स इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक दैट इज कॉल्ड पैकेट सेल वॉल्यूम अदरवाइज कॉल्ड हेमेटोक्रेट दिस इज द अनदर सेशन फ्रॉम द ब्लड फिजियोलॉजी दैट इज हेमेटोलॉजी सो लेट इज गेट स्टार्ट एंड इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी ऑलरेडी सी इन दिस पिक्चर दैट इज आफ्टर सेंट्रिफिकेशन वॉट विल हैपन नाउ लेट इज डिस्कस वॉट डू यू मैन बाई द पी सी बी इट एक्चुअली मीन पैकेट सेल वॉल्यूम ओके अदरवाइज कॉल्ड hematocrit and uh, coming to the point first of all you need to collect the blood sample and centrifuge it and after centrifugation you can see this picture that we can see the three layers are formed and the first uppermost layer that is the plasma and then the second layer is the buffy coat which is less than 1% and the plasma is 55% we already discussed it and coming to the bottom most layer that is the third layer which is nothing but the red cells it is it constitutes about the 45% now coming to the topic this is the red cells which we are seeing the bottom most layer that is the third layer which is called pcv or hematocrit we already said it is called the packet cell volume now what do we mean by the packet cell volume the red cells which cells the red blood cells okay rbcs are packed together in this portion of the blood okay in this portion of the test tube so this is called the hematocrit or the pcv when the blood is centrifuged in a tube the red cells are packed together at the bottom of the tube why they uh, packed together at the bottom of the tube because the cells are heavier no by the centrifugal force is the one of the reason and another one and the cells are heavier than the plasma compared with the plasma the red blood cells are somewhat heavier and they settle down at the at the bottom of the test tube and the pcv otherwise called hematocrit it is a macroscopic observation now uh, we can see with our naked eyes what is the percentage of the pcv right it is occupying almost 45% of the red cells it is a microscopic observation by which the percentage volume of the packed red cells is measured now we measured here and declared it as a 45% and this is a normal pcv and uh, it is a reliable index of the red cell population and also it will provide the useful information that is the red cell mass about the red cell mass like what is the red blood cell count and the hemoglobin content if you know the rbc count then you can definitely know the what is the hp percentage is present in that rbc because every rbc will consist consist of the hemoglobin pigment and coming to the measurements the pcv rbc count and the hp count these are essential to calculate for the red cell indices and determination will help in classifying the various type of anemias first of all the pcv is helpful pcv is nothing but what the red cell mass okay packed cell volume the red cells are packed in the bottom of the test tube after the centrifugation it is called the pcv and uh, the pcv is nothing but the red cell mass will give the information two useful information that one is red cell count and the one is the hemoglobin content now this three will be useful for us to uh, classify and detecting the anemia Yes, okay, and this anemia is a very important, and uh, one of the MCQ can be asked uh, regarding the anemia is most common type of the anemia. Okay, that's iron deficiency anemia. Remember this point. Most common type of anemia is the iron deficiency anemia. This can be asked as MCQ. And coming to the normal values again, these are very important. Okay, the PCV normal values in the adult male forty six percent is present, and adult female will be having forty two percent. Normally, we have. Forty-five percent of the PCV, right? In males, it will be generally higher because RBC count also generally in male will be higher compared with the female due to the hormonal changes. And uh, coming to the variations, the PCV will decreases in conditions where the RBC count will decrease, and definitely PCV will increases where the conditions in RBC count will increase. So the PCV is uh, directly depend upon the RBC count. And uh, coming to some variations will be present that like uh, false high result. The PCV will be somewhat low or exact normal level, but it will show some false high result in some conditions. Let us see that conditions. When the cells are deformed, normally this is the normal RBC. Here I drew three diagrams. One is the normal RBC, and then is the sickle cell RBC, and this is the spherocyte. Okay. The normal RBC is normally biconcave in shape, and coming to the sickle cell RBC, its name only indicates it is the sickle-shaped RBC. And coming to the spherocyte, it will be sphere in shape. Okay, not biconcave, but it will be sphere in shape. So whenever these cells are deformed, other than the shape of biconcave, like sickle shape and the sphere shape, then the more plasma will be trapped in the in between the RBCs. Then the high PCV will be recorded. That's called false result. And what does it mean? Literally means first of all, this is the test tube. No, we can see the plasma. Fifty-five percent will be present, and uh, 
the buffy code which is less than 1% will be present and the rbcs which are uh, that's nothing but the pcb which is 45% so at the bottom of the test tube now in this bottom of the test tube let us see here only that 45% normally rbcs will be present like this okay by concave shape of the rbcs and uh, in the sickle shell rbc rbc sickle cell anemia we can see that rbcs like sickle shaped okay sickle shaped rbcs will be present now the gap between the RBCs here you can see the gap is uh, somewhat less the gap is somewhat less here but here in the sickle cell anemia we can see the gap in between the sickle cells is very more high so the plasma will be trapped in the sickle cell uh, RBCs will be high then uh, definitely the PCV will come high that's a false result because PCV is only referred to the RBCs not the plasma okay PCV means the packed cell volume it is only referred to the red blood cells